and you can see I got a YouTube video pulled up. I'm gonna start playing it, and you may notice the sound is now coming through the Elgato 4K60. You'll see that right here with the monitoring, but you're not hearing it in this video because it's not coming through the Go XLR yet. I have to unmute it. So now, if I go ahead and unmute it, you guys will be able to hear it yourself. So here we go. Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna show you an alternative way to set up your Go XLR mixer in a two PC streaming setup. First off though, if you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. They also make a Go XLR Mini as well. If you're in the market for that, that should work just fine with the setup I'm gonna show you guys today. So the links to those items will be in my video description below. So let's just jump right in. First thing I gotta explain to you guys is right out of the box, the Go XLR mixer has a great user guide, quick start guide that shows you how to configure this in a two PC streaming setup. But the kicker is they have this plugged into the gaming PC. So I don't know if anybody else out there needs to see this, but I like to have mine plugged directly into my streaming PC. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get all the audio right when you're using your streaming PC in the Go XLR. So the manual they provide shows this being plugged directly into your gaming PC. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to plug this directly into your streaming PC and route the audio over from your gaming PC. So let's go ahead, let's jump right in. So the only thing you need to set this up with your two PC streaming setup is a 3.5 millimeter audio cable that you can connect directly into your gaming PC and then right into the line in port on your Go XLR mixer. So you're gonna choose the line out port on the back of your gaming PC. Should be green like you plug your headphones into and then it's gonna come plug right into the line in port right here that is a light blue. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the settings on our gaming PC so we can get everything set up and routed properly. So I'm at my gaming PC right now. We have to go change some sound settings. So go ahead, go to the search bar, type sound settings, hit enter. Now you can see we're taken to this screen where we're gonna have to change and configure some of our device settings right here. So first up, we're gonna choose our output device. We want it to be speakers, headphones, Realtek audio. That's the driver for our line out on our gaming PC. You can leave the volume the same. You can tweak this, whatever you want for your needs. And then you can see down here, we have already enabled stereo mix audio. That's gonna be the key right there. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Then get familiar with the advanced sound options down at the bottom. And you have your sound control panel. We have a couple other options right here. I'll show you guys that, but we need to enable stereo mix audio. So you won't have this option right now, but I do because I have mine enabled. So let's go ahead, let's select app volume and device preferences. And I wanna show you guys, make sure at this screen, same thing you can see, we have speakers, headphones, stereo mix. So that's good. Everything else is fine with the default settings. Let's go back. And now we need to enter this sound control panel right here. And once you have this on your screen, first thing we have to do, you can choose your default device. So in this case, make sure your speaker's headphones is your default device right there. And we have it set that way. Then go to your recording option and you can see we have stereo mix enabled right here. And it's our default device. If you can't see it under the recording tab, right here in the sound control panel, right click, show disabled devices. And then you gotta enable it, click to enable it, and then set it as a default device. Once you do that, let's go ahead, let's enter into its properties. So you can right click and get to properties or just highlight it and select properties right here. And now this is really important. Go to the listen tab and check listen to this device. That's key. Listen to this device. And then here's where you choose the playback device. So in my case, I'm routing everything from my gaming PC to my streaming PC using a 4K60 Pro MK.2 Elgato capture card. So that is what I've selected to have it listen to the audio on there, so to speak which is why I'm able then to pick it up on my streaming PC. So really important that you do this. So you choose your device, hit apply, hit okay, and that is how you configure everything. So now what's really nice about this setup and why I went ahead and spent a lot of time trying to figure this out is because I can then go back into OBS on my streaming PC and then just monitor the audio from my 4K60 Pro 
I can monitor that audio so I can hear it in my headphones while I'm gaming and streaming, and I can adjust it myself without anybody else hearing it if it's too loud or too quiet on the stream. And then I have the line-in audio coming in, which is the same audio from a gaming PC that I can then use the sliders on the Go XLR to adjust the line-in volume in real time while I'm streaming to make sure that depending on the game, it sounds good. So I basically have two ways to control the audio. I can listen to it separately in my headphones because I'm listening to the sample in OBS from my Elgato 4K60 Pro, and that's what I hear. And then I can give a volume adjustment on the Go XLR mixer for the games live in real time for the stream out mix from the mixer. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me show you in OBS a little bit more about what I'm talking about on the streaming side of it with my streaming PC. All right guys, so now I'm at my streaming PC. You guys can see my OBS capture right here. I'm actually filming this video right now too. So we're capturing that. But I want you guys to see my settings so you can understand how to do this on your streaming PC. But we got our gaming PC configured. So now really quickly, let me show you everything we're dealing with right here. First off, ignore the Brio main, that's just my backup audio. Next, you can see in the audio mixer, we have our Elgato 4K60. So we need to make sure for this setting, just go to advanced audio properties, choose monitor only. That way I can choose the monitoring device within OBS as my gaming headphones, and then I can adjust the volume myself. So that's how I do that one right there. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to settings, then you can go to audio, and then you can choose monitoring devices. So just choose the device you wanna hear the audio from. And that's what I did, my Astro headphones. And then you can see the Go XLR is capturing audio right now because I'm talking to you guys, but I could push the mute button right here. But now you can hear me again. So that's what we're doing right there. Everything's working just fine. So now let me go and let me play some audio from my gaming PC, which you can see is right up here. This is my gaming PC now, this footage. And you can see I got a YouTube video pulled up. I'm gonna start playing it. And you may notice the sound is now coming through the Elgato 4K60. You'll see that right here with the monitoring, but you're not hearing it in this video because it's not coming through the Go XLR yet. I have to unmute it. So now if I go ahead and unmute it, you guys will be able to hear it yourself. So here we go. The opinion expressed in this video now you guys can hear the home. YouTube video that and said, talk. If you're interested so in this product, you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You and can see I've some fun too. I'm going to nice. adjust the volume down on the Go XLR mixer, but you can see the volume staying the same with the Elgato 4K60. So we have those options right there. That's what I wanted. I want to be able to adjust the game volume in real time on the fly for the stream. As well as and then I can just adjust it myself to whatever sounds good in my ears. So that's why I was after doing it this way to route the audio. Super complicated. It took me forever to figure out. If you have a better way going forward, let me know in the chat below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have any advice, feel free to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. Hopefully I can answer them or somebody else in the chat watching this video can answer them for you to provide you with more clarity and insights. But everything works great. I'm very happy with this setup. It took a long time to get here, but hopefully you guys don't have any issues. I'll try to drop some step-by-step -step instructions down below for you too, so you can make sure you configure the audio settings correctly on your gaming PC. Hopefully you're familiar enough with OBS and everything else since you're already streaming or producing content that you can navigate the streaming side because you just got to customize it to your needs basically. Also, one more thing, if this matters to you all, if for some reason you did everything in this video and it's still not working, just go back to your gaming PC and the taskbar at the bottom. Just make sure you have it to the correct output device there too. I believe it should be by default since we already set this, the speaker's headphones as our default within those sound settings. But if it's not, just make sure really quickly you can toggle that and choose the device that you want right here. It's gonna be speaker's headphones because that's what we want for this setup. Hopefully that helps. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Thank you guys for watching so much and don't forget to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns below. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? 
and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.